I thought I'd do a quick video on how I'm um, basically just filtering vegetable oil to reuse in a, a vegetable oil mix with diesel. Um, so, so far I've been able to use up to 50-50 um, here in this tank to run this uh, diesel heater. 50-50 seems to work perfectly well. Um, this is just a little um, trial here to see how long it takes for the um, oil to settle proper, properly. So you can see that top section is really separated. Um, that's been sitting a week. So I'm guessing two and a half weeks would be ideal. Um, this is how I'm collecting the oil. Um, just from basically cafes and fish and chip shops. Um, they're quite happy to sort of give it away usually. Uh, and changing it over every week or two or three. Um, so this is what I've got today, uh, five drums. Basically at this point I'm um, quickly screening the stuff through through that one there, um, through the sieve, and that just takes out the chunky stuff. And then from there I fill these two drums. They're um, 20 litres each, so 40 litres altogether. And then we've got a bit of a finer sieve on these two and really just opening them up and running them straight through uh, both at the same time. And so that finer sieve takes out a little bit more, as you can maybe see in there. And then under that is denim jean legs, um, obviously cable tied at the base, so closed off and turned inside out. And then I've just screwed them into this board. And then under that is uh, obviously this big 220 litre drum and the legs will just fill up with oil and slowly filter through. Um, and then the next stage from there is I've got an outlet here that's just a bit up from the base and that allows a little bit more stuff to settle depending on how long I leave the oil in there, you usually get a bit impatient, but if you leave it long enough, the stuff will settle down there and you'll get cleaner oil out here. Um, eventually that'll run into a big drum like this and I'll just pump it back up to another big drum. This will be replaced by a 20 litre drum. But at this point, all I'm doing is um, just using one of these jugs and I'm running only two litres at a time at this point. But ultimately it'll be um, 20 litres sort of soon. So opening this tap and you can see that's the oil coming out nice and clean as it's been filtered by the just the, just the um, sieves and the jeans obviously being the final stage at this point. And I normally take that up to about 2 litre mark. And just kind of... I'll just drop the hose back in there so I don't have a mess. And then from here, back up to here again, I'm basically pouring that into this little tank. Um, and that little tank runs it then through a... I think this might be a 5 micron diesel filter um, and water separator. So it's basically just gravity feeding through there and out to here. And you can probably just hear that trickling away in there. That's the, that's the final product basically. So this is really just filtered vegetable oil. Um, and that's, that's ready to go for me. I'm not really uh, producing biodiesel just yet. I'm not separating the, the glycerin and all that sort of stuff. I'm just basically filtering the oil. And yeah, this little setup seems to work really, really well. So as I say, a couple little upgrades. I'll, I'll probably get a bigger filter here so I can process it a bit quicker. I'll replace this two litre tank with a, another 20 litre tank somehow. And um, yeah, and maybe another 20 litre tank to collect from. So I should be able to go 40 litres in. The legs seem to hold about 20 litres each, which is great. So I can basically open the two valves and walk away. These ones are pretty full at the moment because I've probably put about 30 or 40 litres in as it's been filtering through. Um, yeah, so 20 litres each in these drums, boom, boom, fill the legs, and then I should be able to take 20 litres at a time from here, up to here, through a filter, and then finish product. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Just wanted to do a quick one and just explain how this setup's working for me.